So as I look at the chairs, I feel like I'm seeing um, Ethan first in the chair. I then feel like I'm seeing, it's like two blondes in the middle and then a brunette on the end. And I feel like I don't know for sure. I've only seen brief pictures. I'm so sorry that you guys all lost your physical lives. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Josh, with Hope, and I am beginning a session tonight for the four victims in the Moscow, Idaho uh, murder case. I try to fill as many requests as I can, and clearly I, I can't fill them all. I'm doing regular sessions for clients weekly group sessions for patrons monthly and so there's all these amazing sessions I'm also doing that are not well-known people um, and, and they deserve to be seen as well but of course everyone is requesting that I connect with certain people and I love doing so I love giving these souls a chance to speak this is a, a sad case and um, we will see what we can do. I've already said my prayers. I'm going to um, visualize going to the astral room and inviting them in. And I'm going to do that now. Right, got everything set up. I've got my I've got my orb cam going so that I can spot, I'm inviting any uh, I see, I feel like I see two males as far as my guides go and I welcome you I also see a young female and um, I feel like that's someone that I know, so I'm going to greet them too. I'm going to sit down at the, I'm already sitting down physically, but I'm going to sit down in the astral room and there's a table in there and there's my equipment and... <laughs> I know that sounds very foreign or weird to some people, but that is what I do, that's what works, that's what I have come to understand as far as this process goes, that, that this works, my visualization, and them using that. Uh, I thank the guides for being here. I welcome you. And um, I'm now going to ask for these four to show up if they would like um, and just invite them. I do not know what I will get. But I'm going to keep this going. This part. Okay, and I'm going to listen. So I am inviting um, Ethan Chapin, who is 20. He was 20. Ethan Chapin. So I'm inviting Ethan Chapin. I'm inviting Madison Mogan. She was 21. So Maddie Mogan. I am inviting um, uh, uh, Zana. Zana Kernodal. Hope I'm saying that right. Zana, I'm inviting you. Okay. If any of the guides would like to share or say anything as as things are coming, um, as they're coming in, or if they're coming, anything that you guys want to share with me, I'm also inviting Kaylee 
Goncav, or Goncavs, I think is the name, but I'm... Not saying it right, or I'm saying it right. I always butcher a name somehow in every session I do, and I even check sometimes, but I still manage. Anyway. That's me. Something, I think that's what she said. Female voice, young woman's voice. So I'm welcoming you, okay, and I'm going to listen. This is a very effective program. So I invite you four to sit down with me. I'm also inviting you to show yourselves uh, visually on the night vision camera that I have. And if you would like to do that, you may. It's a really special way of showing yourself as an orb. That's them. Okay, something them. My name is Josh. I am a spirit communicator. I am an uh, afterlife researcher. I am a um, trained medium. And, and this is what I do. And I firmly believe that if you want to speak, this would be your best opportunity to do so. Um, I know other people have asked for you and done sessions for you. Um, unfortunately, I just can't trust anyone else's sessions. Very few people do I actually know. Yeah, smaller channels that I trust, but the bigger ones I do not anymore. And that's very unfortunate. And there's very many reasons for that. Um, so I can only trust my own work and, and my own findings. Um, so this communication I take very seriously. And I want to give you all a voice tonight. And it sounds like your voices are starting to come through. If this is you that is coming through, it sounds like a young female a couple times. Okay. So as I look at the chairs, I feel like I'm seeing um, Ethan first in the chair. I then feel like I'm seeing it's like two blondes in the middle and then a brunette on the end. And I feel like I don't know for sure. I've only seen brief pictures. I'm so sorry that you guys all lost your physical lives. For a while, there was no one that was caught. And so no one knew. Um, and there was fear. But now he's in custody. As of December 30th, he was arrested in Pennsylvania. I don't know that I'm that interested in finding out details um, about the case, about what happened to you, unless you guys want to share that. I'm, I'm more interested in offering prayers, help, calling in the light. I'm more interested in hearing what you have to say on your own, if there's anything that you want to share. I'm going to record for just a couple more minutes with this and then I'm going to get up and I'm going to move over to my computer and invite you guys to use the computer, the computer with me. I see all four of you there. I trust that you're there using this. I do believe that um, when the HOPE team comes and tries to connect with someone, that that the souls do pay attention because I believe that um, they know that I'm going to do my best to really bring them through, you know. All right, let's shut this down.
so Ethan um, looking to just give you a few opportunities to speak on your own and I don't know how well you've been able to come through on other people that are asking for you but I feel this is a, a wonderful opportunity for you I extend my condolences but you are still alive you're on the other side can I ask you how do you feel right now how do you feel good okay so that's that's you coming through and it feels like you guys are all okay right now I see you and you seem like you guys were talking to each other it just kind of feels like you guys have each other because of this this incident and so you guys are not alone is that true yeah are you guys around each other a lot but then also around your families um, are you spending time around your families have you seen others have you seen the light like have you seen anything else on the other side What's the most important thing that you want to say to me, to us? What's the most important thing you want to say? You're not hearing me? Okay. You know, you and, and Xana were together, I think. I think you guys were together. Has it helped? Having each other on the other side, has it helped you guys? Do you guys feel better? Do you feel better or um, relieved in some way that this person, Brian, has been captured? Do you feel better about that? Ethan, I thank you, and um, you know I wish I'd give each person a little bit more time, but I have to try to give everyone um, a shot to speak. Any message to your loved ones, any message to your friends, or anyone that would see this, anything that you want to say to them now? Something us. All right, I'm gonna ask for Maddie here. Anything else that you wanna say, Ethan? Okay. All right, so hang out with us here for a moment. Um, I'm gonna pick a young female's voice. So Maddie, let's give you a test. Let's see if you can use this. Um, Maddie Kogan, can you use this? Okay, I don't know if someone, I heard they left or something, I don't know. Maddie, um, would you like to say anything today, tonight, to anyone that you want to share? your thoughts, any feelings that you're having, anything you want to share? Now, from what it seems like, it seems like you were very lighthearted and you were funny and you liked to joke around and, you know, make TikToks and, you know, normal college kid and, um, and I'm really sorry that this happened to you. Um, how do you feel right now, Maddie?
helping me. I am only able to make out a little bit in real time. A lot of it I have to go back and, and, and review. I'm sure many people have asked for you through these boxes and through these things and mediums and stuff. And I, like I said earlier, I just, I don't know what's real anymore with anyone else that's doing their work. I can only trust mine. It's all I can do. Do you feel like you're in limbo waiting to see the end of this closure of this, no matter how long it takes? Are you waiting for that? Yeah, something. At the end of this session, I'm going to pray for you. Will you stay and pray with me? Will you pray? Um, will you join me in prayer? Okay. I'm going to ask for Xana and I'm going to pull up another female's voice. Xana. Zana Kernodal, I'm envisioning you coming up. Now I'm asking similar questions to all of you. How do you feel? How do you feel on the other side, Zana? Are you okay? What's something that you would like to say to the people that would see this, that are watching this? What would you like to say? Are you and Ethan still around each other and together on the other side? Are you guys still, I mean, I'm sure you all four of you are seeing each other. I asked that earlier to, to Maddie and Ethan, but are you guys around each other and then going to see family still? What was the connection Brian had to all of you? Is there any way you can tell us? hang out for a few minutes more. I'm going to ask for Kaylee, see if she would like to say anything, give her a chance. And uh, I thank you um, for, for coming through. Um, so thank you, Zana. Okay. I'm going to go back to this other young female's voice. And I'm going to ask for Kaylee. So Kaylee Goncav, you're the last one of the night. And I, I greet you. I welcome you. I send you love. And I'm um, hoping that you can use this. Can I ask you if you know what the connection is with this person and all four of you? Did he know one of you? Did he know all four of you somehow? Why was this person targeting you? Do you know? I can feel the connection waning just a little bit. And I think that's just because of the energy. We've been going for close to 50 minutes now, almost an hour. So that can kind of get difficult. So I'm going to ask you just a couple more, and then we're going to close it up. Um, Kaylee, is there anything that I can do to help other than praying for you guys? Is there anything that I can do to try and help you in any way? How is it feeling to use this? Um, what do you think of this? Okay. All right. 
right, well, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to stand. I'm going to shut the cameras off first, and then I'm going to pray. And I'm going to ask for you guys to stand with me and, and ask for your higher power to, to help you. Ask for God, the source. I will envision light coming down on you. And that does not mean that you have to fully cross over, but it could mean that you get the help that you need in some way, some light um, to feel that energy. Um, but I do feel like you are going to watch this case um, play out, and that's part of your closure. So any final response for tonight, Kaylee? thank all of you for coming through if you were able to I will do the best I can to give you um, the most accurate captions I can for your responses it's not easy like I said but I know that it does work and I'm very proud of the work that myself and the hope soul family that what we do here it's, it's very special and I believe God Jesus Christ gives us the ability and the power, the energy to do this work. So hang in there and let's pray together, okay? All right. Well, there it is. I, um, I'm gonna shut these down. I'm gonna pray. Um, I thank you all for watching this work. It's all very special, it's miraculous, it's powerful, um, and it's going to continue to open doors, and this program is going to continue, um, we'll be helping people, you know, everyone will have an opportunity to use this, and I'm very grateful. Uh, until next time, I love you all, thank you.